Hey guys, it's Kim here. I'm going to be doing some math today for some of you who may be in like nursing school and need to do the med math, okay? And this is what the questions look like. I'm going to be using dimensional analysis. We're going to be doing um, milliliters per hour, milligrams per minute, microgram, micrograms per kilogram per you know minute, whatever. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do these. Hopefully you can learn something from them. Feel free to work them with me. If you're anything like me and you hate math, um, this is a really easy method. You always get it right, it seems like. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start here. Um, first off, you want to see what the, the question is looking for. So you want to find milligrams per minute, okay? So we're right over here, we're going to start that. Milligrams per minute. That's what we want. So the easiest thing to do is start with the milligrams. Put this on top. Right here we see that there are um, two grams. So let's go ahead and do the conversion. We'll do this with dimensional analysis. So what we're going to do is we want milligrams, okay? So we're going to do 1,000 milligrams over one gram. You can you can go ahead and, and do these before if you want, but I'm just going to show them in the way just so I can stick to the dimensional analysis. So then we're going to multiply. So next you want to go straight above here with grams. So we see that it's two grams and 500 mLs. So then we go again. We see that there are 15 mLs. Sorry, I'm holding the camera with one hand and writing with the other. And that's in one hour. Now we want minutes. So we can say that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Okay? So you want to make sure you're solving for the right thing. So right here, if we can mark off what we have, just to cross it all out, we see that we have our minutes. We have our milligrams, which is what we're looking for. See that? So now you just multiply straight across. I'm going to use my iPhone. A handy dandy iPhone never fails me. So we're going to do 1000 times 2 times 15 times 1 equals 30,000 over. Then we do it again here on the bottom. 1 times 500 times 1 times 60 equals 30,000. What? Okay, so that would be, what would that be? One. So the answer is one milligram per minute. That's your answer, okay? Let's go down to the next one. Here again, you wanna do uh, tablets. So this is, a, this is a pretty straightforward one. This one we're just gonna do um, ordered versus, or ordered, on hand times the vehicle. So we're gonna do uh, the conversion, which when you, I'm just gonna do this the easy way. Micrograms to milligrams here, you just go back three spots. So you go one, two, three. So you'd have zero point zero one two five, which is what this would convert to, over the zero point zero two five times one tablet, because you want a tablet at the end. So if you work out your math, divided by 0 0.025 equals 0 0.5. So you know you give half tab. And the stupid thing is, is these are the ones that I normally mess up on. I think I try to overthink them. I know there's a way to do it in dimensional analysis, but that really complicates it. So we're just gonna stick to that for this one. Okay, down here we have calculate the dosage of heparin she's receiving per hour. Let me go ahead and turn this page here in my notebook. So we know we're looking for units per hour. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Let's do it. Okay. So, we're going to start with the units on top. Here we have 25,000 units over 250 ml. 
Remember, you don't have to get them both. Just, the, just start with the one. I start with the top one usually. And we just keep going with it. So we have 250 ml. What else do we have that's ml? Because it needs to be here. We have 14. So 14 ml over one hour. Okay. Now check this out. Cross them out. You have what you need. So then you just solve it. Okay. So you would do the 25,000. times 14, which is 350,000 divided by 250, okay? You with me here? Okay. So the answer is 1,400 units per hour. So that comes out to 1,400. So that's your answer. Okay, make some paper over here. We'll do a couple more, just for the just the work, you know, to figure figure them out. So let's see. You're preparing an injection of morphine. So we know it's an injection. So we know we're going to need a syringe. So we're going to need to know. This is another ordered ver over on hand. So we orders 15 milligrams. We have 48. times 2 ml because we want it to be an ml as the answer. So that's pretty simple. 15 divided by 48 equals times 2 equals 0 0.625. But we know we can't pull this up in a syringe, so we're going to round it to 0 0.6 ml. Here's why. Let's see. We're going to need mls per hour because it's, it's a pump. Okay, so we know we want ml per hour. So, see it's tricky, see all the conversions here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the ml we have, we have 250 here, over 50 milligrams. We're, we know that one milligram has 1,000 micrograms. See, because we want it to go this way. And let's see, we have micrograms. We have 10 micrograms per minute. But we need hours. So we know that we have 60 minutes in one hour. So we're just going to cross off what we can, make sure we have what we need. We're going for hour, we're going for milliliters, and then it's safe to solve it. So we just multiply right across the top, 250 times 1 times 10 times 60. Same with the bottom, 50 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. And then we solve it. So it's three. Three ml per hour. You see how easy that is? Once you get the hang of it, um, it's just doing it. Our teacher always tells us that we need to cognitive, cognitively reframe the way we look at math because it's really not that hard once you know how to set it up, which is the hard part. This is another ml per hour. I'll try to attach a um, microgram per kilogram per minute or something like that at the end as well because it looks like those were all on the first page. Um, so how do we start it? We want milliliters. So we're here. Over 50. And see here's the conversion again. So we know we got to do one milligram, 1,000 micrograms. That's just to help convert. Like I said, if you want to do that at the beginning, you can. You can skip this step, but I do this just so I don't mess up because I'm really bad with math. So we go right here, which would be over the kilograms and the minutes. So we want to get rid of these kilograms, and we know our patient weighs 70 kilograms. So we're just going to put it over one, just as a placeholder. 
We also want to get rid of these minutes because we want to go to hours. So we know that there's 60 minutes and one hour. Okay. Now go ahead and mark the stuff off that you we have the mLs, which is what we need to end with. Milligrams, micrograms, kilograms, minute. So that leaves us with exactly what we need. So now you can go ahead and multiply. 250 times 1 times 0 0.5 times 70 times 60 equals over. See, I'm doing the math here. So 50 times 1,000 times 1 times 1 is 50,000. So when you just divide it, so we have 10.5. But we can't really have 10.5 for the mLs per hour because you can't have half a drip, you know? So we're going to round that up to 11. So then we end up with 11 mL per hour. All right, um, I hope that helps. I'm not the best with math, but um, I get through it. So, yeah. Here's some of the other ones. I don't know if you can see them here. I'll kind of, I'll kind of explain them for, for you. This is one of the microgram per kilogram per minute questions I was talking about. So, what you, how you set it up is you have the micrograms over kilograms in the minutes. Okay. So with this one. It looks like I started with the conversion right off the get because it's tricky. So you know you're wanting the microgram. So I'm starting with 1,000 micrograms over 1 milligram. See, because that's in milligrams. That way I can multiply. Okay, that way I can cross these off and just do the multiplication. So I have the 400 milligrams inside 500 ml solution. And then I just keep going like we normally do. So we have 500 milliliters and then we also have let's see 30 mls per hour so i put 30 mls over one hour i'm gonna cross those off here so we have one hour over 60 minutes 60 minutes um i went ahead and, and worked this out ahead of time i'm sorry usually you would do it the dimensional analysis way but i just went ahead divided the 117 divided by 2.2 right off the bat so i would have the kilograms that's where i got this because we want the kilograms on the bottom so I did my one as my placeholder, 53.18 kilograms. And then you go ahead and you can cross these off here. So you'd have milligrams, milliliters, hours. These are, I didn't write that, but this is um, kilograms. Okay, so you're left with what you need here. Micrograms, see, because that's what we're going for. minutes and grams because that's what we're going for okay so then you multiply these all the way across you get what you have here multiply the bottom you get this and it comes out to this apparently I did this at school last week but then you round up you know see so you, you don't want it to be the weird number there you always round to what is it the, the hundred spot ten spot whatever it is you round to that one so you end up with 7.5 milligrams per kilogram per minute. Uh, sorry I didn't work that out for you. I already had it worked out. But that's basically how you do it. If you have any more questions or anything, you know, feel free to ask. I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, math is the kind of thing you just kind of got to do it. So, yeah. See you later, guys.